Good morning. Today I have a parable from the Bible to read to you. And there is a word in this story that might be kind of confusing because when a story was written thousands of years ago, sometimes words mean something different. And the word that I'm talking about is talent. And I know we think of talent is when someone has the talent to play baseball really well or play the piano well. But in this story, talent means money or currency. So this is how the story goes, the parable of the talents. Jesus told a story about using the gifts God gives us. A man was going on a trip, and he thought, I need someone to take care of my money while I'm gone. He called his servants and handed each of them some talents. Take care of this money while I'm away, he said. Two of the servants went to the market, and they traded their talents and made more. One servant was afraid, and he dug a hole and buried his talent. The man returned, and the two servants handed him more than they had been given. Good job, the man said. You shall have more. The third servant brushed the dirt from his talents, and he said, I was afraid. I buried my talent. Give your talent to the others, the man said. You did not use what I gave you, and I will not give you any more. There is also a Bible verse um, today that goes along with this story, and it's from Matthew uh, chapter 25, verse 29. For to all those who have, more will be given, and they will have an abundance. Now, in this story, the two servants who put their talents to good use, they were able to make more talents. And the one who was afraid to use his talent, he buried it to keep it safe, but this didn't make his master very happy. And this makes me think if we have been given a talent or a gift of some sort, we need to use that gift. If we know how to play an instrument really well, we should practice and improve our talent so we can share it with others and give others pleasure. If you give your, yourself joy in what you do, it will multiply and give others joy also. You know, this applies to Colonial Church, and there are a lot of people that have talent in Colonial sh Church that share their talent and give others a lot of pleasure. Uh, last Sunday, Hayden Ferguson sang a beautiful hymn, which was just very enjoyable. And Mary Burnett plays the clarinet. Joseph plays the piano and organ. And Mickey Gehring plays the piano. And they share all their talents with us. And this gives us joy. Now, school is going to be starting next week. And I want you to think about this story of the talents. When you go back to school and during the school year, think about what talents you might have. And if you feel like you're really good at math or good at writing stories or good at science or good running races, whatever it is that you think your talent is, don't be afraid to hide this talent. Use it and be proud of it and share it with others. Now, if you don't think you have a special interest or talent, that's okay too. Sometimes it takes a long time to figure out what your talent is. And you might try several things before you decide what your special talent might be. But you know, there's one talent that you all have, and I know that, and that's how to give a big smile. And I have a task for you this week. I want you to give a big smile to five people. And you know if those people, if those five people smile back at you, then that's 10 smiles. Isn't that great? So when you start back to school or even when you're home with your family, give people smiles and be kind to them and they will give those smiles and kindness back to you. And remember when you do this at school, if you give someone kindness, they may turn out to be your new best friend. 
So I hope you have a great week and a great experience starting back to school. And I hope I see you all real soon. Bye.